Welcome to the video. My name is Sayed. In this video, we will learn how to check stock in SAP. Uh, and uh, this uh, relevant to the SAP S4 HANA version of SAP and SAP ECC. Um, and a uh, little bit about me. I am SAP published author. I have written some books, SAP and related to SAP books. Uh, and uh, I have uh, some experience in SAP. Uh, and so let's talk about uh, how to check stock in SAP. So to check a stock in SAP, there is a transaction code to, which is which is MMBE, uh, which will display us a stock at company code level, plant level, storage location level, and it will also show batch if the batch management is activated for the stock or managed in, in the system. So uh, let's jump into the system. So that is SAP main screen where we enter uh, 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 transactions, uh, select uh, transactions from the folders up here. And also this is a T code bar where we can enter the T code, which is MMBE. And this T code will be available in the description. And also um, my profile and the books that I have published uh, are available in the YouTube description as well so uh, let's get started so we can see there uh, the database selection is showing us material number we can search one material number at a time uh, but we have more options to uh, search one material and uh, one plant or multiple plants from two or multiple selection uh, storage location we can search by uh, batch number we can search by this if the batch number is activated so also you can see that in the stock type um, so if it is a special stock this will include in this uh, the displaying the stock and uh, if the stock is allocated it will show that as well special stock indicator that will show us uh, about different type of stocks are available in the system uh, for example consignment is a special stock uh, there are different type of stocks available let's uh, take a look at it uh, system displaying so if it is a uh, customer stock, uh, if it is order on hand, so it will show all of those. Uh, if it is, uh, if we can uh, filter by this if we want to select. For example, if I select consignment, it will show for this material if it is on consignment. Uh, so we have more criteria to display more uh, value in there. So, uh, and also uh, we have more options to go by no zero uh, stock line. So it will not show for different uh, plants where there's no, no stock is available. So in selection of display list, we can see that there's a company code is check marked, uh, plant. So if junk, uh, company code is uh, marked, it means that uh, stock will display at the company code and uh, it will display company code, plant, uh, storage location, batch, and if, if they are activated. So, and we can also in the last, we can see that MRP area. We can search stock by MRP area. For example, uh, if material is in two MRP area, we can put a range or we can put multiple selections. So uh, for now, we are just going to go ahead and act uh, just run this by this, by only material number, not putting a, a plant or anything. And to do this, uh, click on execute button or F8. So here we can see material number, material type, and unit of measure that is coming in there and also we can see that on the left hand side it's showing company code storage location and uh, so we can see company code plant and storage location and on the right hand side we can see that there is a stock of uh, unrestricted use and also there are and uh, there are different uh, areas when the stock is allocated to the different area for example if it is stock in quality inspection it will show us the quantity up here if it is in there if it is reserved if it is uh, on order stock and or if it is on consignment it will show there uh, the number up here in this under underneath there so that's it for this video if you like uh, the video please go ahead and subscribe uh, check out other videos on the channel please leave a comment feedback thank you very much